For the past nine years, Shelly has ruled the mansion. Hi, Hank. Hi, girls. Hi, Hi Shelly. Looking good. But today, she's about to get a wake-up call. They're kicking me out. Maybe it's because of your age. But I'm 27. But that's 59 in bunny years. I don't have anything. I don't know what to do. You need a yap. A yap? Yeah. This summer, it looks like a bunch of little Playboy mansions. She's looking for a place to call home. Do you ladies go to school here too? We're the house mothers of the sororities. This would be perfect for me. This is not a brothel. Oh, I'm not looking to make soup. Try Zeta. Their last house mother was hospitalized with hallucinations. Awesome. Now. Hello? Sometimes when you need help... How can we be so smart that everyone kind of thinks we're losers? Reading, earthling... <laughs> The person you least expect. My name is Shelly, and I'm here to be your house mother. Will be exactly what you need. We have to be popular. Guys like her. And since guys don't like us, I figured Shelly here could teach us how. I am just so happy that you guys want me here. This is Harmony. Harmony. And then Joanne. Joanne. What is that? It's just this thing I do to remember people's names. Natalie. You hired the exorcist. That's great. From Happy Madison, who brought you 50 first dates. Shelly, that's Colby. I'm in love with him. That's so sweet. How long have you guys been going out? I've never even talked to him. By the time I'm done, every girl on campus will want to pledge Zeta. She's changing their style. That's it, lady. Now we can be the best versions of ourselves. You're pretty pleased with yourself, aren't you? I am a little proud. Don't mess with me. Hey. And they're giving her the education of a lifetime. So I met this boy named Oliver. He didn't fall for any of my tricks. I think I dropped some money over here. Maybe it's over here by this manhole. Ah! That is freaking hot! Anna Ferris is the house bunny. What if Oliver doesn't mind a smart girl? Have you given any thought to who you might be voting for? I... I definitely won't listen to what Simon says. He is just so mean. I usually always agree with Paula and Randy. Oh, you meant the president. <laughs>
Here we go in five, four, three, two. Here in Salamanca, Spain, President Ashton has been working with leaders from five continents to forge a new groundbreaking alliance. Today, we make history. We need your camera. You saw the shooter. There was something in that window. I saw something too. We have to respond. You can't give the order. You've been shot. We risk telling the world that you weren't really there. We weren't there. We need you to tell us what's going on. I think I just told a guy who did it. We're shot in the city. Man. The NSA has just confirmed the threat. We know who's behind this. Don't release him. He knows something. For the moment, the Americans think they've dodged a bullet. Secret Service, we need to see your tapes. I'm in pursuit, heading west. We got a satellite lock. We're looking for five people out of six million. Surprised to see me alive? Stop. Rewind that. Oh my god. What did he see? What have you done? What have you done? The beauty of American arrogance is that they cannot imagine a world where they're not a step ahead. There's something else going on here. Control is compromised. Get off! My partner is in pursuit of a suspect. This can't be happening. There's no 20 on the president. Where is it? his girlfriends. Oh, I think I picked up yours by accident. Sorry about that. Gloria. Nice. Tom has his guy friends. Not gonna be able to play today. My back. Oh, come on, Gary. If we don't have a fourth, we're gonna end up with tiny shorts guy. So, hey, what's happening? You know that? No, our friend Paul with longer shorts is coming. But he only has one best friend. And I'm not going to another one of your father's weddings. This is the last time. I promise. You don't act on that pretty soon. I'm gonna make her my number six. Oh, wow. <laughs> You got the best of both worlds, Tom. It's true. I can sleep with whoever I want, but Hannah's it's been the one cost in my life. I'm going to Scotland on business for six weeks. Six weeks? What am I going to do without you? I think you'll be fine. Hello? Hey, how's the weather in England? I'm in Scotland. So it's sunny? It's three in the morning. So it's dark? I'm going to go back to sleep now. Oh, I hate Scotland. What's the matter with you today? <sighs> Maybe there's more to life than just sleeping around. I don't understand. Uh, I'm not following. I'm going to tell Hannah. When she gets home, I'm going to tell her that I want to be with her. I'm engaged. Huh. You proposed and I accepted. Oh. Wow. It's beautiful. If you're getting married, I expect to be your best man. Uh -huh. Tom, mm. will you be my maid of honor? <laughs> your maid of honor? <laughs> What is it with you, man? I didn't. Great of honor. <laughs> you might have to do this. You'd be a confidant. You'll be able to help me pick out something for the wedding night. No. What are you looking at? Nothing. You got a better chance of stopping this wedding from inside than from another continent. Hannah showers in the morning. We gotta get these baskets done. With well, what about this party mix? That's potpourri. <laughs> oh, God. Maid of Honor. This must be the lucky young man who's marrying our beautiful Hannah. Oh, no. I'm not marrying him. This is Tom, my Maid of Honor. Oh. Well, how about that? We have many gay and lesbian members of the congregation. Welcome. Oh. So, hi, 
on now! He is the greatest Israeli soldier the world has ever known. But it was time for a change. I wanted to leave the army. What will you do? I want to cut and style hair. <laughs> 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 He's entering a new world. You ever cut a sister's hair before? Sister, brother, grandma, grandpa. Have you ever worked with dreads before? <laughs> Creature! Okay, you stopped me. I have the job, right? And pursuing his dream. You have never cut hair before. I will do whatever it takes. Okay. Soon the whole world will be silky smooth. Bump up the jam. Bump it up. Bump it up. Yo, bump it. Bump up the jam. Who's next? Now, his old life. You're an Israeli counter-terrorist? No, 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 Idiot! Stay out of my business, Mustafa! Yeah. This is not my name. Was that your feet? Adam Sandler. Smell it, smell it, now take it. That's for you. You don't mess with a Zohan. Have you ever worked with kids before? <gasps> At least it's a good time to shave his neck. I would get him quick. I'm so glad you finally asked me out. <laughs> you seem like such a nice guy. Oh. I like you, too. <laughs> so, what do you like to do on weekends? I don't know. I guess what I really like is watching people get mutilated, you know? Or killed in ways I've never seen before. Although I do love a good axe murder. I know. <laughs> Call me old-fashioned. What about you? Today we have suffered defeat, but I am confident that where there is defeat, we will make victory. Do you have what it takes to be a citizen? The Federation needs you. Me? Really? Enlist now. Yesterday I dropped troopers into a combat zone. Join up today. How high you fly is up to you. Do your part. Join the mobile infantry and see if you've got what it takes to be a citizen. Johnny Rico. Saddle up, troopers! Grenade! Lola Beck. Hold on! Dix Hauser. If the bugs find this place, they knock out the fleet. Next stop, Earth. There goes the neighborhood. There's a long war ahead. Incoming! Bugs! And we need you now. Kill them! We're being tested. Loyalty, intelligence. Get down! Kill the cop! You know what to do! Get in there and kill them all! Starship Troopers 3, Marauder. Let's go crack a planet. It's a good day to die. See you on the bounce, Trooper. Alpha, Bravo teams. Let's clean up the rest of the mess. Wait for it! In the
this small Nebraska town, a secret government project has gotten out of control. And a deadly virus has been unleashed. The virus is based on the human X chromosome, so it stays more pure from woman to woman. Into the city's hottest nightclub. This is Jessie. Local girl, right? Yeah, born and bred, Sartre, Nebraska. So tonight, when the sun goes down, things really start to heat up. Every man's fantasy is about to become... What seems to be the problem, Doc? Believe it or not, zombies. Their worst nightmare. <laughs> Robert England. <laughs> Jenna Jameson. You either got it or you don't, baby. But, but what about the girls, huh? They're good girls. They're zombies. No. They're strippers. They're zombie strippers. For my sake, suck it up. Who the hell is this? Dr. Graham, as a forensic psychiatrist, will John Forrester rape and murder again? In my professional opinion, John Forrester is a serial murderer. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of murder in the first degree. Of all the serial killers that I've interviewed and studied, none of them were legally insane. Excuse me. You feel guilty about lying under oath? Tick tock, doc. You have 79 minutes to live. Shelly, I received a threatening phone call. Jack, you better turn on MSNBC. I find it hard to believe that Dr. Jack Graham can be out there, psycho-babbling innocent people into the death chamber. Jack, this is Special Agent McTire from the FBI. Do you know a woman named Dale Morris? What's going on here? Dale Morris was murdered last night. They found physical evidence at her apartment that implicates you. Who's a murderer now, Jack? Yeah. The press got a hold of Dale's name. It's all over the news. They are claiming that these murderers prove that the real killers have never been brought to justice. Dr. Graham! Is it possible Forrester is innocent? No. No DNA, no murder weapon. Your testimony was very convincing. We are going in such a hurry, Jack? Can't you see this as a frame? <laughs> Just give me some time, okay? How does it feel to know you won't live through another night? I'm gonna find you. 37 minutes. How do I know that you haven't gone completely over the edge? He's got a gun! Jack! Well, what do I do, anymore? Frank? Did I blow up my car? Oh, did I fire bullets at myself? It's a genius, isn't it? You convinced the jury Forrester was guilty. How do I know you didn't kill those women, too? Take a good look at your watch. Now imagine what it would be like to be minutes away from your own death.
I think it's going to be a great fight. I don't know why everybody's not coming to this fight. Pay-per-view is pulling back on the promotion. We're not selling tickets. We have a deal or we don't have a deal. We need a gimmick. What good's a deal if nobody's making any money? Time up. Think he has a handicap? No. The other guy has a handicap if he cannot control himself. Breathe. You know the escape. Breathe. There's always an escape. Your check bounced. My check? The martial arts supply. I can't make the rent. You have no cash. There's one rule. Put the other guy down. Just calm down. I'm calm, man. I'm calm. You calm down. I just want to have a drink. Why'd you come out alone? If you're looking for trouble, what happened? Bad boy jumped on a movie star. What about you? Nobody knows who I am. A man distracted is a man defeated. It's an invitation from Chet Frank. You train people to fight. I train people to prevail. Tell them your training method. The fighters before a fight. Three marbles. Each fighter has a two and three odds of choosing the white marble. White marble's a pass. What if he picks the black marble? Black marble's a handicap. Who imposes the terms of the battle will impose the terms of the peace. Each fighter will pick a marble. Should he pick a white marble, he'll be given a pass. You draw the black marble, you're either going to have one arm tied to your body or potentially both arms tied to your body. You stole my idea. You can't copyright an idea. He has a document of his training regime that he's used for many years. You want to make some money? Fight on the undercar. It's worth a quarter of a mil. Competition is weakening. What about the fighter's family? What do they eat? The fight is fixed. We pick who gets the white marble. Who gets the pass tonight? You. I'm ending the charade. Mr. Flair, I need to talk to you! You think you're going to the ring? You're going nowhere, Mike. You're going nowhere. There is no situation you could not escape. You know the escape. Mr. Cox? Mr. Cox. Give him a minute, son. Dewey Cox needs to think about his entire life before he plays. From the time he was a boy. Ain't no six-year-old understand the true meaning of the blues. I reckon I might. I don't know that Cut my brother in half. It's not bad for you first time. The music of Dewey Cox Take my hand has had an effect on people. It's the devil's music. From the guy who brought you Talladega Nights and Superbad. You have got to give up this dream. You're never going to make it. And maybe you don't believe in me after all. I do believe in you. I just know you're going to fail. Columbia Pictures presents The Epic Journey. Welcome to the top of a mountain, and you see it's a long, hard walk. But I will walk hard. Of the man who became a legend. Walk hard. The Beatles want to hang out, so I'm going to go do that. With meditation, there's no limit to what we can imagine. I'm leaving you. You can take the children. But you leave me, my monkey. When it comes to music... I ain't good enough to follow Elvis. There's two things you need to know. I'm the king. And number two is... Look out, man! You see how close I came to your head? I can chop a man in half. I'm guilty as John. No legend is bigger than Cox. You met my new wife, Cheryl Cox Teague? Thanks, buddy Holly. What do you think, George Harrison? The one, the only, Dewey Cox. Well, thank you, Eddie Vader. Walk hard. What happened to you, Dewey? I don't know, but I know what happened to you. Patrick Deppie took a beating. Walk hard. My life has been blessed, from my singing to my family to my sausage. It doesn't say Cox unless I say it tastes like Cox. Walk hard. Board the windows. Try to hide. They're coming. Vampire is human. Vampire is Johnny Exist. What are we gonna do about him? We have to move. They're tearing through everyone's home. What was that? Thirty days of night. It's been two weeks. 
since the disappearance of teen Aubrey Fleming. If you think you know the secret. Hey, are you okay? Aubrey. We're gonna have you home in no time. Who is Aubrey? Think twice. I know who killed me. Now in theaters, see the Academy Award-nominated film Rolling Stone calls a mind blower. It's marvelous. Four stars. It gets a great A from Entertainment Weekly. Wow. It's wonderful, defiant, funny, and tender. Not to be missed. Absolutely. Marjan is a sass queen to rival Juno. Yeah. Featuring the voices of Chiara Mastriani, Sean Penn, Catherine Deneuve, Jenna Rollins, and Iggy Pop. For real? Persepolis. 